This is all the powers in South Park Snow Day. You access these by either opening your menu and going to Armory and then Powers, or by visiting Tolkien's shop. All of these powers can be unlocked by playing through the campaign. The only one that's different is the one called Bull Rush, which is unlocked by opening all of the lootable containers. So if you haven't unlocked all of these, just go ahead and keep playing the game and you'll get there. So to get your powers to work, you need to hit the enemies with your normal attacks to get you pissed off. Look alive, new kid. Here come the, elf. the first one is Bubble Shield. Reflect projectiles back at your attackers. The Bubble Shield works well for when there's projectiles. Because then it bounces it right back to the enemies there. The second one is Bull Rush. Fart yourself forward through enemies, charging and carrying them with you. Now the bull rush goes ahead and charges through the enemies, slams them into the wall, if you of course get to the wall there. The next power is the drone bomb. Release a drone that seeks enemies and explodes after a short delay. All right, so for the drone, this goes and attacks enemies. Looks like it explodes on him actually. <laughs> The next power is the Fart Escape. This is pretty much the first one that you get. Fart yourself up to safety and gross out enemies in your wake. The Fart Escape leaps you up in the air and can be used in combo with your jump attacks. And it also grosses out the enemies. The next power is the Gravity Bomb. Release a drifting void that sucks enemies in and damages them. With the Void Bomb, you throw it out, it'll suck them all in and explode on them. Like this. Right there. And the healing totem. Plant a totem that heals you and your allies for a short time. This is the other one that is pretty much given to you in the beginning of the game. Now the healing totem does what it says. You stand near it and it'll heal you. You'll still get damaged while you're standing in the healing place. You're still going to need to attack while you're there. The next power is the snow turret. Construct a mechanical monstrosity that fires snowballs for you. So with the snow turret, you place it down, and then it'll start lobbing snowballs for you. And the last power in the list is cheesing. Drug your enemies with cat urine to make them temporarily fight for you. And cheesing. Make the enemies fight for you. So they're pretty much fighting each other at this point. By the way, you cannot change your weapons or your powers in the middle of a run. You have to do it outside of the run. If you like South Park, then pounce on that subscribe button. And if you want to see all the weapons in South Park Snow Day in action, then watch the video on screen. Have a great day and keep your claws sharp. Bye!